my name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor. I help people who are right-brained, scattered by nature, people just like me, who have found themselves to be either in a mess at home or very disorganized. Do what I've done. Get organized. Realize that you're wonderful just like you are, that there's nothing wrong with you, and that all you have to do is learn a few things. Today, we're going to talk about something called relative deprivation. Relative deprivation was a concept that was coined by a man named Samuel Stouffer. He was a sociologist during World War II who believed that we measure ourselves against the people who are around us or against those who we believe are our contemporaries. There is a book titled David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. It's a book that challenges conventional ideas about who should be considered an underdog and what really is the source of disadvantage. Now, Malcolm Gladwell talks about a big fish in a little pond. You see, if you went to Harvard and you got in just by the skin of your teeth, that would mean that you weren't quite as good as the very best that were allowed in there, but you were definitely as good, much better, than the majority of the world. But because you're measuring yourself against those in your group, the people that you're around most often, you will think that you're not as good as and not reach your goal because you think that you just can't. Whereas if the same person went to, say, a state school, they would have been the very top and they would have reached their goal. So who is more successful? The person who gets where they want to go or the person who seems like the very best or tries so hard to be the very best but isn't able to do what it is that they dream of doing? Don't you think that's what we've done to ourselves? If we've been measuring ourselves up against the June Cleavers, the Martha Stewart's, the OCD, very organized, oh my God, how does she do it, best friend, neighbor, or sister, of course we're going to think we're not as good as, and will we be able to reach our goals of getting it together? Well, according to what is done for other people in the scholastic world, no. Do you want to know why I'm standing in front of my Christmas tree right now? Because it's January 25th. That's what date it is. And guess what? I don't care. I'm not apologetic about this. I don't have to measure myself up against anybody that thinks anything about this, except for me and my life. I've got it together. I've learned how. I can teach you how too. But I could also teach you how to be so easy on yourself and not care about things that so many people care about. Am I going to get to it? Yep. And I'm going to get to it today, too. The fact that I haven't gotten to it yet doesn't matter. I want to tell you about a woman named Angela Gia Kim. She has a business called Om Aroma Therapy in New York City, and I think that it's all over the world now because it's on the internet. She also is the founder of a women's entrepreneur support group called Savor the Success. And you know what she calls her life? Gorgeous chaos. She doesn't measure her life against anyone else's. Now, does it mean that she doesn't do what she has to do? Oh no, she does. And we will too, and you will too. But guess what? When you learn what to do, you realize how very viable your job is as a homemaker, whether you work outside of the home or not. You understand how important it is to put yourself first and your family, and you know what to do, when to do it, and how to delegate, and to top it off, what I'm talking about today, to realize how wonderful your life is, and you don't have to call yourself less than, not as good as, or disorganized. You call your life gorgeous chaos because that's what it is and we can make that gorgeous chaos so manageable that stuff like this doesn't matter to you because everything else is taken care of and it's not about perfect it's about happy so no matter what stage of the game you're in if your house is a complete disaster and you don't know where to start if you're a neurosurgeon but you can't get it together behind your front door if you're a stay-at-home mom or dad and just wonder what the heck do I do with my time all day I work all day but I get nothing done 
I can tell you that there's a system and a plan that will work for you, but one of the things that you've got to embrace is that there is nothing wrong with you, and that if you wait until January 15th to take down your tree, or to do anything in your life that the whole world says somehow is quite not right, I'm telling you, name it gorgeous chaos like Angela does, see yourself as wonderful, we've got to do things, yes we do, doing nothing gets us nowhere, but until we know how, how can we? I invite you to go to my website, thetidytutor.com. There's a link for you to get to it right on this page. Just click on it, it'll bring you right there. There's a place that you could click to get my 10 tips, one tip a day for 10 days that will rock your world, and you could get my book absolutely for free that will so change your life. There's a place also for you to go where you could take my course, Tidy Tutor University, and really begin on the journey to order. There are lots of us in this group, okay? We're all in a private member's area, and we help each other, and we compare each other to each other, and we see how amazing we are and the fabulous results we get. I'm telling you, it is a life changer, and you can have the dream that you want to have, to have your house organized, your life organized, and you organized, okay, while you think that you're wonderful. So I look forward to seeing you on the inside. My name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor. Check out my website. Find out about me, and you'll find out about you. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.